everyone, it's Josh here from Easy Crypto Hunter and today we've got a great little surprise for you. So obviously the 4090 has just been released. So we've got our greasy little hands on it and we're gonna give it a good test in to see what we get out of it in terms of mining for different algorithms and different coins that we're able to mine. So of course what we've done here is we've got our hands on a card as fast as possible and inevitably when the new cards come out we've got new drivers and sometimes there's issues with some of the softwares so the results that we've been able to get out today again please take with a pinch of salt because it's likely over the couple of weeks and months that will follow there'll be better drivers and better softwares and again better miners which will probably tweak the results to be a bit better all around but hopefully these numbers will give you a quick rough indication as to whereabouts this card sits in comparison to other things. Now obviously the 4090 is one of Nvidia's most powerful retail cards ever. We're expecting some very high hash rates of course. The thing to look for here really is all about power consumption as we know it's a bit of a monster card when it comes to power. Now whether or not those efficiencies again will be tweaked over time with the better softwares and drivers as of course we've previously mentioned, that's yet to be seen. But again these numbers are a good indication of where we're heading with this really powerful new card. So without further ado, here are the results that we've been able to test for you against various different cryptocurrency mining algorithms. So as you can see, there are some really impressive high hash rate numbers there. Again, as we expected, the power consumption is very different than it has been on other cards, but of course, we'll see where this goes over time. But some really, really strong numbers there from the 4090, and we can't wait to get our hands on this card for a little bit longer, continue the test over time, and see what efficiencies we're able to get out of this flagship bit of Nvidia hardware.